certain forms of dementia, like Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common form of it, begins in the brain decades before the first symptom of memory loss, 30 to 40 years by some calculations, and some evidence suggests even earlier than that. And I realized that all this time I had been thinking of dementia as an old person's disease, and I realized that I was completely wrong. So much of the ways in which our brains function and operate on a moment-to-moment -moment basis is dictated by our diets and by our lifestyles. Nutrition, what we eat, how we live our lives, this is something that I think we should all become experts in. I would say the biggest myths surrounding Alzheimer's disease and brain health in general is that we can't do anything to affect our odds or to change our brain health. I think probably the most impactful thing that one can do is um, practice a variety of different types of exercise. I try to imbue my day with as much movement as I can, whether it's taking the stairs when given the opportunity. Just moving helps to mobilize fluids throughout the body that don't have their own heart. A perfect example of that is the body's lymphatic system, and it was recently found that the body's lymphatic system is directly connected to the brain. And this is sort of the, the body's waste disposal. The same diet that's going to put you at increased risk for depression and make you more depressed and more anxious, um, this is not just about correlation, this is about actual research showing that you know eating a crappy diet actually affects the way that you think. That's also the same diet that seems to accelerate brain aging and accelerate plaque deposition, the same plaque that's related to Alzheimer's disease um, and Parkinson's disease. It's one human diet. It's not you know a diet for the heart you know that's different from a diet for the brain. There are certain nutrients that are you know, studied to be very powerful in regard to brain function, and we highlight those in the book. Um, but in terms of like the whole foods that that promote a healthy brain, an optimal brain, those are also those foods are also going to make your heart kick more ass day to day. They're also the foods that are going to you know reduce indigestion and you know make sure that your the microbiota, the 30 trillion microbes that live in your large intestine, are kept happy. When it comes to Alzheimer's prevention, it's not about just one food. There's not a single food that's going to prevent Alzheimer's disease for you, but it's about the diet. It's about, you know, what you're eating day to day, how you're living day to day. But in terms of specific foods that are powerful brain boosters, I mean, let's take avocados. I consider avocados as being the perfect food to drop a bomb on inflammation and oxidative stress. They're also packed with really important carotenoids, uh, which are pigments. Um, in the case of avocado, it's lutein and zeaxanthin, which have been shown to actually boost processing speed in the brain and make your brain cells work more efficiently. But the problem is uh, those carotenoids need fat to be properly absorbed. Well, in an avocado, an avocado is loaded with healthy fat in the form of monounsaturated fat, oleic acid. It's rich in dietary fiber. It's packed with potassium. You know, I also want to be very careful in terms of misleading people. You could still do everything right according to the book and still develop Alzheimer's disease. We don't know everything about the disease. By doing everything right, we're helping stack the odds in our favor, okay? It's not a get out of jail free card. You know, there is still genes which weigh in on, you know, our health outcomes uh, to some degree, but for the most part, genes are not destiny. I think removing the the processed junk foods from your diet is probably the most the most important step, and you could do that that in tandem with adding in the genius foods.